we will now study the oxidation of alcohols and before studying uh, what is meant by oxidation um, uh, uh, of alcohols we would first have to define what oxidation is now oxidation is defined as uh, whenever some substance gains oxygen that's that is called oxidation so whenever a substance gains oxygen or there's another definition where the substance loses hydrogen that's also described as oxidation and plus there's an there's a third definition which is based on uh, losing or gaining electrons so whenever you have a substance that's ends up losing um, electrons so that is also described as oxidation. So you have, we have three definitions of oxidation. Gain of oxygen, loss of hydrogen or loss of electrons. So uh, what happens when an alcohol gets oxidized? Now this uh, applies to all alcohols and we will study oxidation more in detail uh, when, we, when we do A levels. But uh, for O levels, what you need to remember is whenever you have a uh, an alcohol and I'm talking about a primary alcohol you don't need to know what a primary alcohol is when you're doing O levels so let's take a simple alcohol let's take a simple straight chain alcohol so let's uh, think of ethanol which has two carbon atoms and there's going to be an OH group attached and there would be uh, let's complete the bonds by adding all these hydrogens so this here is ethanol now when you have ethanol what's going to happen to ethanol is uh, when it is oxidized is that's it, that it will get converted into carboxylic acids so this part where OH was attached now you're going to have a carboxylic acid group attached so you So it's a it's a it's a very simple process when an alcohol is going to get oxidized. So you you'll take an alcohol and it will get oxidized to e carboxylic acids, carboxylic acid. So the last part changes. Let me highlight that it's going to be uh, it's going to be this part where the OH group was attached is going to get converted into this part it's going to get converted into a carboxylic acid group so this is what's going to happen whenever uh, oxidation of alcohols is going to take place and we're talking about simple alcohols right now so a simple alcohol is going to get oxidized into a carboxylic acid and um, for oxidation to occur you would need an oxidizing agent so I will represent an oxidizing agent with O in square brackets, an oxidizing agent is a substance that oxidizes another substance. So you would need an oxidizing agent to uh, oxidize alcohols, and and another thing that you that would be produced when an alcohol gets oxidized is it's a water molecule. So don't forget to mention that a water molecule is also going to be produced. And and uh, now to confirm whether this process is oxidation or not. Just count the number of oxygen atom. An alcohol had just, it only had one oxygen atom. Let me underline that. Whereas a carboxylic acid has two oxygen atoms. That means that a carboxylic acid has gained an oxygen atom. Similarly, if you count the number of hydrogen atoms, there are a total of one, two, three, four, five, and six hydrogen atoms over here. And there are a total of four hydrogen atoms in a carboxylic acid so uh, technically it has it has gained one oxygen atom and uh, it has lost two hydrogen atoms so we can uh, so this uh, fits our definition for oxidation it's a gain of oxygen and a loss of Hydrogen. So this substance is undergoing oxidation. You need to balance this equation as well. 
So if you count the total number of oxygen atoms, this should be this should be two. Uh, we take the oxidizing agent symbol as an oxygen atom, as some substance that is providing all those oxygen atoms. And now I think if you look at the equation, this equation is balanced. And uh, we still haven't mentioned what are oxidizing agents. Now, uh, if you're doing, uh, since you're doing uh, all of this chemistry, there are only two oxidizing, oxidizing agents that are frequently used. There are more than that as uh, the many more oxidizing agents that could also be used but for O levels, we'll just stick to two basic oxidizing agents that are frequently used. So our oxidizing agents are the first one is uh, potassium magnate 7. Potassium magnet 7 which is also called uh, or the formula of this substance is KMnO4 and the reason why it's called 7 is that it has an oxidation magne has, has an oxidation state of 7 in this particular compound and uh, another th important thing about uh, remembering about this potassium magnet 7 is that when it reacts, its, it's color is going to change from purple. It's originally purple. So its color would change from purple to colorless. So what happens is that the KMnO4 gets reduced. Since it's oxidizing carboxylic acid, it itself is going to get reduced. Another oxidizing agent that you need to remember is called potassium dichromate uh, 6 or it's also known as or the symbol for that is K2Cr2O7 where 6 is the oxidation state of chromium in this. And if you use this oxidizing agent, uh, the color change is going to be from orange to green. And one other important thing about uh, this is these are the oxidizing agents that you're going to use. You're going to mix these with the alcohols and these are the ones that are going to get uh, it oxidized to carboxylic acids. And generally what you're going to do is you're going to... Uh, heat the alcohol when you're using this oxidizing agent and since alcohols are volatile substance so so uh, uh, reflux needs to be done whenever you when you whenever you try to oxidize an alcohol reflux is that you heat the substance plus you use a condenser so that the alcohol vapor doesn't escape and uh, I'm going to now try and draw a condenser. Now this is what a diagram is going to look like. There's going to be a condenser on top. And you would be heating the substance. So you're going to heat the substance from the bottom and there would be a mixture of, of the alcohol and and the oxidizing agent i'm using abbreviations over here so there's going to be a mixture of the of the alcohol and the oxidizing agent and what this condenser would do is that uh, if any vapors of alcohol let's say when you heat an alcohol vapors would be formed and the, those vapors would try to escape so since we don't want it to escape we don't want it to evaporate and uh, leave the container the condenser would uh, would cool down those vapors and those vapors would fall right back in so that is what reflux is so whenever you uh, uh, try to oxidize an alcohol you're going to reflux the substance using an oxidizing agent and uh, this is what a diagram of reflux is going to look like and the only reason we use reflux is that alcohols are very volatile they evaporate very easily so we don't want to want them to evaporate when we are heating them